What is up, everybody, and welcome back to my channel for another one. Real quick, if you haven't done so already, please make sure you hit the like and the subscribe button and click that notification bell so you will be notified any and every time I post another video. But let's get right into it. Uh, recent news just broke out that a Miami jury rules in favor of Craig Wright, who claims to invent Bitcoin. So, you know, what? I am a little perplexed on this because um, this has been this is still going on. I don't know why that this is still going on, you know. And for those that don't know, Craig Wright is a person that claimed that he was the main character who actually created Bitcoin. He's supposed to be an Australian computer scientist. Um, he claims that he helped create um Bitcoin, and he is trying to um, get the 1.1 million Bitcoin that has been completely gone. So what the issue is, is that he told the court that he could actually produce paperwork on um, him owning the 1.1 million. But here's the thing. There was a piece of paper actually going around saying that um, that 1.1 million or 1 million is supposed to actually be locked up to actually create the scarcity of what Bitcoin actually is supposed to be. I know a few years ago, he um, showed the judge that he has some receipts of him actually owning that wallet, but then somebody actually called him out on it. And um, they were like, no, bro, that is not your wallet. This is my wallet. Uh, quit lying. Um, some people believe that he's a liar. Some people believe that he's just trying to get money. Um, but there's rumors going around that um, he actually was not the creator. He may have helped, um, you know, at some point. But, you know, there's just a lot of rumors going around saying they could be a numerous of people, Hal Finley, who uh, passed away uh, some years ago, uh, part of it, uh, Kleiman, um, who's believed to be the actual creator. Uh, but that's just rumors. And then, you know, Craig Wright, Andrew, um, there's another, not Andrew, but I forgot the name at the moment, but there's just a numerous of people who um, are claimed to believe part of this particular um um, project uh, that we call Bitcoin, but it's crazy because it says here, um, he actually then created uh, Bitcoin SV. It was it's a fork of the original version of Bitcoin that they call um, Bitcoin, which I still think that's confusing for other people to come in. Uh, first, it was Bitcoin, then Bitcoin split uh, during 2017 to create Bitcoin Cash, and then Bitcoin Cash split to create Bitcoin SV. Uh, and they all claim that they're the original Bitcoin, but we all know what the original Bitcoin is, and that's actual Bitcoin itself. But here, then it goes off by saying, a man who's claimed to be the inventor of Bitcoin just won, he just won a major U.S. court case, saving him from paying a former business partner, partner tens of billions of dollars in the cryptocurrency space. It says the Australian computer scientist Craig Wright, um, Impelled, who we just talked about in a 2006 16 blog that he was Satoshi Nakamoto, uh, the pseudonym used by the person or persons who develop Bitcoin, many in the crypto community are skeptical, just like myself. Uh, because, and I say that because this has been going on for years. Um, the judge told him to produce uh, multiple evidence showing that he was Bitcoin. Like, all you have to do, like, if you're actually Satoshi Nakamoto, all you have to do is just get the private keys. Um, all the OGs in the space know that all you have to do is get the private keys, do a dust transaction, say, hey, I'm moving this t uh, 64 cents around. And then so that way you can show that you're actually showing ownership of that wallet. It's not that it's not that difficult. It's not. And that the fact that this judge ruled it saying um, pretty much that he prevailed in a Miami civil case that uh, puts him against the family of his late business partner. And computer forensics expert David Kleiman, who passed away at a stake, was half of the 1.1 million Bitcoin mined and held by Satoshi. It says a catch currently worth around 54 billion. The estate also claimed rights um, to some of the intellectual property behind the early blockchain. Um, but yeah, that's he. He knows that he's not Satoshi Nakamoto. Um, he may know who he who Satoshi Nakamoto is, um, but just the whole purpose behind it is just um, insane to me that we're still talking about him. Uh, but here it goes off by saying the, pro 
the prosecution um, argued that Kleiman was a co-creator of Bitcoin alongside Wright entitling him to half of Satoshi's assumed fortune. The thing is, if you own, if you know where the 1.1 million, his story has changed so many times. It's just getting so annoying. He just needs to disappear and just go on about itself and just continue to use Bitcoin as V. Um, I used to, you know, I had some interest in Bitcoin as V back then, but then it's like they kept manipulating people to um, get them to think that it's actually Bitcoin and it's not. Um, Bitcoin SV has a lot of differences uh, can, compared to the original Bitcoin protocol um, that was actually first mined through, I want to say 2000, well, the actual first note was back in 2009 through a Hal Finley tweet uh, saying running Bitcoins. Uh, but there's so many different features and it's just not even a question like Bitcoin is not Bitcoin SV. Bitcoin SV is not Bitcoin. Bitcoin is better than Bitcoin Cash and Bitcoin SV. Bitcoin is the original protocol. That's what we know. It's a household name. And it's just it just needs to stop. Um, it, the, the article goes off by saying Wright was ordered to pay $100 million in uh, compensation damages over a breach in intellectual property rights related to W&K Info Defense. It just doesn't stop. Um, you know, there's a mystery about this of of um, the white paper. Uh, there's a mystery surrounding the founding of Bitcoin. Um, and it was ruled in a South Florida case uh, because in 2018, this happened because in 2008, there was a uh, financial crash that was taking hold in the U.S. And then that's when uh, the famous nine-page white paper actually just pops up, uh, talking about peer-to-peer -peer cash. Um, so he's um, saying that he's the one that actually did it. Um, I personally feel like you know that he needs to show proof. He hasn't showed proof after so many years, um, but it's just one of those things where um, you continue to go to court. You continue to go to court until you get lucky. Um, but that's just my take on it. Uh, do I believe that this man is Satoshi Nakamoto? No. Do I believe he probably took a part in it? Possibly so. But he just needs to show proof. Once he shows proof, then then that's when we start talking. Because why would you create another uh, hard fork of Bitcoin if you were not the actual creator? The actual creator would actually stick with his creation or her creation or their creation versus creating another fork. But that's just my take on it. Bitcoin SV is not the original Bitcoin. Point blank, period. Bitcoin is Bitcoin. There's only 21 million Bitcoin. That's it. But that's all I got to say for that one. We're going to go straight in over into one of the other major news that's actually happening right now. And that's Cardano hits 1 million wallet in staking. That is absolutely insane. That is amazing that, you know, you can't beat that. Like I always tell people, liquidity, utility, and mass adoption. That is what we are talking about now. That is the greatest utility, liquidity, and mass adoption. That is amazing. Um, you know, what? Most people don't actually understand this, you know, when it comes to, you know, the Cardano blockchain, even though the Cardano blockchain um, just created proof of staking uh, this year, it's actually been taken off the ground. Um, that, and that's something that uh, Cardano has first mover, first mover at advantage over when it comes to the Ethereum blockchain. You know, the Ethereum blockchain I say this time again, gas fees are completely high. You know, they have first mover advantage on the NFT marketplace, which is great. They have first mover advantage on smart contracts, but they don't have first mover advantage on staking. Um, here it says a recent article talks about uh, recently Cardano reached 1 million wallet staking on its network after a few years since inception. This is happening as the network is experiencing growth in the crypto space. Moreover, ADA has grown 
fast to become the sixth largest cryptocurrency. It was number it was number three. I think and I, and I feel like it's going to I feel like as soon as the uh, smart contracts filing are fully functional and actually fully released, it's going to go back to number three and it's actually going to compete number two. It, it has the potential. Cardano has the potential and will have the potential to actually flip uh, Ethereum. And I'm saying that now. Uh, you can hate me right now. I love Cardano. I love Ethereum. But there's just there's some things that Cardano can do that Ethereum cannot and will not ever achieve. Uh, we got Hydro that's going to be coming out. That's going to allow the Cardano blockchain to actually, you know, perform and produce up to a million transactions per second. You know, we got NFTs uh, are, you know, currently booming. Uh, you know, we just got a lot of things that's actually going on for the Cardano blockchain. And it's just absolutely amazing. And then then here it goes off by saying um, <clears throat> at, at the time of writing, Aiden is trading at $1.40. And I want to say it's actually increasing. It's going to be potentially increasing. But you just have to think about this, folks. Like there's over 72 to 73 percent of Ada staked right now. There's only 45 billion error that's going to be, ever be created of the of Cardano's native asset Ada. And there's but versus Ethereum, there is an unlimited supply, even though that there is a, a burn rate that's been, you know, implemented in Ethereum's new upgrade. It's still considered unlimited. Cardano's hard capped. And there's only 6% of Ether that's actually locked up right now versus 72 to 73% of Cardano that's locked up, or not locked up, but that's currently staking, but you can still move it because the Cardano blockchain is decentralized. So you have to think about that for a minute. Cardano's at $1.40 and it's 73% staked and it's $45 billion that's going to ever be created. While it's, Ethereum is $4,200 at the time, I believe, and it's 6% staking that's locked up. And it's unlimited. Do the math. Cardano will eventually be that three thousand to four thousand dollar coin. But that's just my take on it. Uh, don't quote me on that. That's how. That's what I believe. But numbers don't lie. How do you have an unlimited supply coin that's locked up that at a six percent uh, staking rate, six percent staking, versus a token that's seventy three to seventy two percent staking? That has a hard cap on 45 billion. Do the number. Something's off. Something is completely off. And you know, I know people are gonna talk about use case this, use case that. Cardano is has a big ecosystem that's constantly growing. There's a stable coin that's about to be introduced on there. Uh, NFTs are on there. Um, transactions. They're not slow. Ga uh, transaction fees are like what? What is it? 0.8, ADA. Um, transactions are great. So it's just one of those things. It's just, we just got to give it time. We just got to hold on because the price is actually going to reflect the use case. And this coin has liquidity, utility, and mass adoption. I say that constantly. I'm going to continue to say that until I'm blue in the face. This coin is the coin to watch for the year excuse me, <clears throat> for the entire year. Smart contracts, NFTs, transactions, low fees, you can, uh, stable coins, staking, um, 45 billion versus unlimited market cap, 1 million wallet staking. Like this is, pa this is passive income that you can actually hold in your ledger or your treasure wallet or your desktop wallet that allows you to get passive income and you know you know and what most people don't understand staking you know because i get you know subscribers every single day and, I, and i'm appreciative of it. so make sure you know if you're coming in just now make sure you like and subscribe so that way you click that notification bell so you'll be informed any and every time i post another video please 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 make sure you do that it's really important but like i go back and continue to say staking is is when you stake, you are you you are securing the blockchain. You are um you are allowing you are allowing staking pools to um use and delegate your ADA to secure the blockchain. And for and as a reward for you delegating and you uh securing the blockchain, you get rewarded uh five four to five percent the for the entire year. You know, it's going to fluctuate. Sometimes it gets, it's going to be 3%. Sometimes it's going to be 4%. But after a full year, 
year is going to equal up to be a total of four to five percent for the entire year. Um, you you get you get your rewards every uh, five days, six times a month. You know, that's a no brainer. And they're not locked up like Ethereum is. But that's all I got to say about that. I'm going to go over to the prices and I'm going to let you go. Currently, we got um, current market cap of two point four trillion It's actually pulling back up. That actually looks great. Um, we got <clears throat> Bitcoin at fifty one thousand. Uh, we got Bitcoin at fifty one thousand four hundred and three. Uh, we got Ethereum at four thousand four hundred and eleven. We got Binance Coin at five hundred and ninety dollars. We got Tether a dollar. We got Solana at two hundred and one dollars and fifty five cents. Cardano at one point forty six. XRP at 84 cents is actually pulling up. That actually looks great. It actually just dropped just just a little, um, but that's not too bad. We got Polkadot coming in at the number nine spot at $29.39. Luna at $73.46. Dogecoin at um, 18 cents. Avalanche at $94.16. Uh, Shiba Inu at the number 13 spot. Um, that's still holding on in the top 15. We got we got Matic at $2.38, Crypto.com at $0.65. Cents. All right, everybody, that will do it for me. By the time you see these prices, these prices have probably changed. Uh, do I believe that Craig Wright is Satoshi Nakamoto? No, I don't believe it. Do I believe that Bitcoin SV is the real Bitcoin? No, Bitcoin is Bitcoin. No names on the end of it. Bitcoin is Bitcoin. And I'm super excited that Cardano finally hits 1 million while it's staking. And I believe that Cardano will overtake Ethereum in the long run because of the UK use case liquidity and mass adoption. And because of 73% ADA staked uh, that you can move decentralized, the decentralized exchanges for Sunday Swap just finally released for testnet, uh, smart contracts, NFTs. Hydra's coming. Um, I believe that it will flip Ethereum eventually. Uh, it could be sooner than later, uh, but I'm not, you know, I'm, I'm asking you to do your own research about it. That's just my take on it. Uh, and please make sure you watch the ads. Please, please, please watch the ads. Uh, that would do it for me today. Uh, if you haven't seen my previous video that I did yesterday, it should be popping up somewhere around here now. As always, stay focused, stay locked in. Peace. Hi.